I keep seeing my Snapchat memories from two years ago when I studied abroad over in England and they're just really triggering me because if you guys don't know I was kicked out of the country three months in because of COVID <laughs> so that was traumatizing um, very very scary and very overall sad <laughs> and I was just recently thinking about my entire time over in England and I was just thinking about all the culture shock that I experienced so I wanted to share that with you guys <laughs> And I would also like to preface that I do not know if some of these observations are just from my university, which I studied in Regents University, because different schools might have different requirements. So I just want everyone to take all of my observations with a grain of salt. And let's get right into the video. So the first culture shock that I want to talk about is the lack of graded homework. If you're an American, you know how important homework is to your overall grade. But when I was studying in England, they did not grade the homework at all. And there was also not too much homework given out on like a daily or weekly basis. So in this mindset, that I had when I was studying over there, I was a little upset because I thought that the time and effort that I was putting into my homework just wasn't being credited. But then I started to realize that when I wasn't focused on the grade that I would be receiving, I learned more. I felt like I could take my time and I was actually focusing on the content of the homework. And I think that I overall had a better education while I was over there because there was such a lack of pressure surrounding constant grading. This was a big one. A lot of people at my school who were American um, would drink so much. They would drink so much every day. I don't know how half of them did not die of alcohol poisoning. I just don't get it, but this is coming from a lightweight, so who knows? <laughs> but the amounts of people that never showed up to classes was absolutely insane and I realized that was because the professors did not take attendance and attendance was not even a percentage of your grade so as someone who showed up to class every single day you know minus those one or two days I did get food poisoning once and I could not attend classes. That was terrible. It actually scarred me from avocado toast for a while. It was at this place called the Breakfast Club. If you go there, I do not recommend their avocado toast or vegan bacon. It's a no for me. Back to the track of attendance. Yeah, they just did not keep track of attendance, which is also something that was that's different from the American education system. Midterm and finals. So this was a big, big stressor for me. Um, the only two grades that I received my entire time in England were the grades from my midterm and final, which was very, very stressful because if you did poorly on one or two of those exams, that reflects your overall grade. So there wasn't like attendance or homework grades that could boost up your percentage. It all came down to those two tests. A big culture shock for me was drinking with your professors. You know, the drinking age in America is 21, over there it is 18. And I also kind of think that it should be 18. This is just my personal opinion, I don't know. Drinking with your professors is a norm when you're studying in England. There were so many events that were hosted where you could just show up and they would have glasses of wine, champagne, cocktails and you would mingle with your professors every single professor ever i feel like attended all of these events which is super rare i think in college as an american student well i just recently graduated college as of last month but let me tell you when there were events happening professors did not show up it is so hard to mingle with professors i think when you're studying at an american university 
I will say <laughs> a lot of the alcohol at Regents was not good. I did not like. Um, I was having there is a mingling sesh with the English department and as an English major I was like yes I want to talk to my creative writing professor and my Shakespeare professor like heck yeah but um the wine was just so terrible and it was so awkward if you didn't like it and you had to like uncomfortably sip it and pretend that it was good while you're talking and like resist the urge to just spit it out of your mouth or or you can sneakily just kind of place it on a windowsill, which is what I did often. On campus bar! So there was a bar in the basement of my university and this was so bizarre to me and it took my friends and I a while to even find it. It was insane. There was like the same bartender there every single night. You can drink with your professors but also grab a drink in between classes like my american school would never <laughs> so i will say when i was studying over in england why am i turning like this i don't know when i came home from england i was so skinny i lost so much weight when i was over there because on campus food such as like the brasserie which is like the coffee shop and the cafeteria the dining hall those places closed at such an early time as well as all of the food places in England they all closed maybe around 6 p.m. and as someone who is a midnight snacker or you know I snack when I'm laying there like watching Netflix like doing homework at night reading I did not have that opportunity because I was bad at grocery shopping when I was over there. <laughs> there were many nights when I literally did not eat past like 6 or 7 o'clock and I was absolutely starving. And I think that is why I lost so much weight over there as well as walking around so much. And I just want to say I didn't lose like a... I lost maybe like 15 pounds which in like three months, but I think that's also because I ate healthier when I was over there surprisingly Besides all of the croissants that I consumed and I also just want to say In terms of food the McDonald's over there had mozzarella sticks again American McDonald's, please Please jump on this train. I love mozzarella sticks. I consume more mozzarella sticks than the average person and I would really appreciate it if McDonald's had mozzarella sticks but I also wanted to say every single food place over in England had a vegan or a vegetarian option which was amazing I cannot believe that I never had to leave a restaurant without getting anything which is such a common occurrence here usually when I go out I can only order like side dishes or appetizers but the fact that I could order an entire vegan meal when I was studying over in England was just so lovely <laughs> and all of the fast food places had vegan options like KFC had a vegan chicken sandwich and it was so good KFC here they would never Londoners don't talk as someone who lives in a city. I live in Pittsburgh. It is a very small city But when you're just walking down the street, you're able to openly like wave say hi and smile to that person Londoners will give you the scariest death glare I have ever encountered in my entire life Also when you're in London, I just feel like you have to walk fast if you're like a slow walker I just feel like you're gonna constantly be cut off. Just imagine you're in a car and you're driving really slow and that car behind you cuts you off like that. Yeah, that's what those people walking on the sidewalk will do as well. <laughs> and I also wanted to mention that there were some unspoken rules in England, which happens in every single culture. For example, the first time I was ever on an escalator in the tube station, I was standing on the left. Everyone's probably just like screaming at me right now like Amara. No, you don't stand on the left I know that now you stand on the right the left is for passing everything is so orderly 
on the escalators. It's kind of beautiful. No ranch dressing! As someone who doesn't even really like ranch that much, um, I really missed it while I was over there. I think I missed it because I didn't have it. <laughs> and I was able to get small, teeny tiny cups of ranch from the on-campus bar, surprisingly, because they served pizza. And it was like heaven in my mouth. And I realized that in England, ranch is not common. I don't even really know where you are able to buy ranch from. And I also wanted to say that there were no pickles. As a city who constantly celebrates pickles, like you get a pickle with your sandwiches almost everywhere you go. There is a festival to celebrate pickles. I was so sad that there were no pickles over there. Um, I don't know. I just expected pickles to be on more things. But I guess that's not really a common thing over in England. I did buy a jar of pickles and I will say they were not good. And it was really embarrassing because <laughs> at one time, pickles were like my comfort food. And I, as I was eating my pickles on my bed one late night, my Italian roommate told me that it reminded her of Snooki during the Jersey Shore episode when she's just like walking on the boardwalk eating pickles. <laughs> So this is a small thing that I noticed when I was studying over there. Um, none of the windows have little window screens. I'm not sure if you guys know what I'm talking about, like the little mesh screens that are just right outside the window and you open it and it's like mesh there so no mugs can get in. Um, over in England, I noticed that I did not see a single window screen. In the windows, you would just kind of like pull open and like if you wanted to, you could just like stick your entire body out of it because there is no screen. And to split a check, they don't do that for you. You have to tell them how much you want to pay. And then they come over with their like portable card reader and that is how you split the check. And that's also how you pay. The medicine that you could buy over the counter, it would specify that if you were taking antidepressants, you had to consult with your doctor first, which I've never ever seen here in the States. Um, I feel like it's just not really talked about like what medications and stuff you can and can't mix. It's kind of like a known fact that you do have to call like your doctor to find out or check out. But the fact that this was emphasized on so much of the medication was just very different for me. I've never experienced that before. I did not have to pay for my hospital visit. I did have to pay for my antibiotic, which was only $13, but Again, the American healthcare system could never. <laughs> I hope this mess of a video was fun to watch. I'm sure it was all over the place and I'm very, very sorry for that. I'm sorry if I gave you a headache. I gave myself a headache as well. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed watching and please like and subscribe. And I hope you guys have a great day. Bye. Or should I say, cheers. <laughs>